Hi all, this is Nick and Andy and Gino, and we're here to do a little demonstration of Speaker Track 60 along with Presenter Track and a little demonstration of the Presenter Track Diagnostic so you can see how Presenter Track operates. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and deactivate Speaker Track from the Touch 10 and activate the Presenter Track function. So we'll press here. And now you can see the camera in the back of the room has picked up. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually enable the presenter track diagnostics mode, right? So we've already configured presenter track. We've got the camera. We've got the camera focused on our stage area. Um, we have the camera set with a trigger zone. And when we enable the diagnostics mode, you can see a red box. And that red box is the trigger zone or the pickup zone, where if it detects a face in that zone, it will follow that face around. Now, if Gino and Andy, you guys don't mind facing the camera, you'll see that it will try to identify faces even outside of the trigger zone. So we're seeing some green flashing, for example, on Andy's face. Uh, Gino, I think your hat might be disturbing a little out. bit. Um, People shouldn't wear it. There you go. <laughs> so as you can see, it's picking up some faces, um, but it's not actually doing anything because they are not in the trigger zone. So if somebody stands up and gets into the trigger zone and faces the camera, critically faces the camera, you'll see that it's now got a green box around me, and you'll see there is a yellow line, and this indicates the viewport, right? And if we were to shift out of diagnostic mode and into standard mode, we'll see that it is actually zoomed in on me and beginning to follow me around the room, right? So if I move around the room, and you'll notice it's still tracking my head even though I've turned my back, it will start to digitally crop, zoom, and follow me, but if you were sitting in this room, you would see the camera is not actually moving, right? It's an entirely digital operation, and it's following me as I move around the conference room. Now, if we have a situation with multiple people, and I'll flip it back to diagnostic mode before I set this up, you'll see right now it's following me, but Andy, if you wouldn't mind standing up and facing the camera, you'll see it's picked up on Andy as well, and the yellow box has disappeared. This is because if it is tracking multiple presenters, those presenters need to be close enough for it to use the zoomed-in viewport. And so now we are relatively close together, and we get the yellow box again, and this is what it would be following. But if we move apart too large a distance, we will end up with a situation where the yellow box disappears, and the camera is just going to pull back and show the entire stage. If we go back into non-diagnostic mode, We'll see right now, again, it's showing the entire stage, but if Andy and I move close enough together, boom, it is zoomed in on Andy and I. And now, you know, just think in your mind, the yellow box is there. If Andy and I move this way together, oh, this way, Andy, uh, you'll see that the pan and zoom follows us a bit, but if Andy moves too far off to the other side, thank you, Andy, you'll see it's back to being zoomed out. Now, if Andy just sits down, Right? Even though Andy has left the trigger zone, it is still tracking Andy. Right? It's still tracking Andy's face, which means it's not going to zoom in on me until I get close enough to Andy. Right? Andy would have to actually fully exit the picture. And Andy, if you don't mind fully exiting the picture, a little bit more, maybe that way. Now. It has snapped right back to me because it has lost Andy's face. Right? And if Andy wheels his chair back in, Andy is not in the trigger zone, so it's not picking up on Andy's face and blowing up the picture again to the entire stage, right? So some care must be taken or some instruction must be given about that, right? Now, our trigger zone is a bit non-typical, right? We're in a conference room that does not have an actual podium or lectern or something to focus the trigger zone on. If we did have such a thing, let's pretend to say this chair was a podium, right? We could put the trigger zone right here, Right? And nominally, somebody would have to come up here, but assuming they are, they're going to come up here and perhaps hit a touch 10 that's got the presenter track button on it. Right? Boom, it's snapped to them. Andy could stand up, Andy could sit down. The trigger zone does not capture Andy, so it doesn't snap to Andy. It stays just with the presenter. And again, the presenter can move freely out of the trigger zone. Once it's latched onto them, that person can move around and it will do the follow function. It's just when you have a very wide trigger zone in a conference room without a logical podium or other thing to pick up on that you end up in the situation that we described before. So that's about it for our demo here. We're going to go back to normal follow mode. 
And then we're going to disable presenter track and re-enable our speaker track. And we're back. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this demo.